Hey everybody, this is Jesse, and today I'm gonna to show you retarget animation. This script is gonna save any uh, object world space location, um, and it can be really useful, uh, for example, in this uh, run cycle that I put forward. Uh, I want the world space location of the controllers because I want this, for example, to be zero out. So let's open retarget animation. You have two buttons. Um, Bake animation, save any, and we target any. Uh, let's see the bake a bit later, and let's dive in. So, let's select uh, basically all the IP controller that you want. Then click on save. We're gonna have a success message here in three seconds. Uh, and then uh, you do all the changes you want to do. Uh, so, for example, here we want this to be at zero and click on retarget animation and here is successful and you can see that now uh, this controller is a zero out and the animation is still here the script is working on the current timeline that you have and uh, as long as you don't close this window uh, you can modify and for example like this and re-click on retarget animation without saving again and you're gonna get what you had before uh, I can go here and move this like this as well and re-click on retarget animation and what is nice about this uh, script is that it's not baking in every frame it's only keying on the existing keyframe that you had previously which is really nice to have any changes later. If you want to have a more accurate result, uh, you can use the bake option here. So you can check it and then save the animation, for example, of the head here. And then I click on retarget animation. You're going to have a more accurate result of a previous animation. And let's say now uh, we want to change the space of the head. Uh, let me go back here. So when I have a few keyframes and uh, then I go to the head controller and then I change the world space here. So you can change you can see that the animation is totally changed. Uh, and my world local is at 10 now. So when I retarget animation, the head is back to where I had uh, previously and uh, the world space is at 10. Let's see now another example how you can use the script. Um, see on the palm, I want to change the rotate order. So I'm gonna take the controller, save the animation. Um, you can change the rotate order. You can see when I change, uh, the boot is different. And when I retarget the animation, the palm is uh, back to how it was before. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. That's it for me. Bye.